So in this lesson, I'm going to um, pretty quickly go over scientific and engineering notation. Um, this is a review for you, so I'll go over this fairly quickly. So if you recall, scientific notation um, is a way of expressing a really large or really small number, um, sort of simply. And it's going to take the form of a times 10 to the b. Okay, And this is your coefficient. Okay, And the b is the power of 10. The exponent is another way to put it, okay? Or the power of 10. And all scientific notation is going to take that form. <clears throat> and um, so let's just do a couple of examples. Okay, so here's a, a few numbers, um, <clears throat> quantities actually. Um, and then remember to, to uh, convert to scientific notation, you have to find the decimal. Um, and remember, in this case, the decimal for the first one was sort of 120,000 watt hours. Remember, the decimal is implied that it's here. And you simply count the number of decimal places that you have to go over um, until, <coughs> excuse me, there's only one number to the left of the decimal point. One non-zero number to the left of the decimal point. So in this case, we're going to move the decimal over between the one and the two. And we just need to count how many spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so in this case, it's just 1.2 times 10 to the fifth watt hour. Okay, so we're not going to deal with the many numbers that are really small in this class, but um, I'm going to do an example anyway. So in this case, we, we have to go, um, remember, we have to have one non-zero number to the left of the decimal point. So in this case, the decimal starts here, and we have to move over again between the 1 and the 2. This time we have to go to the right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So this time it's 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth. In this case it's watts. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> you know, the easiest way to, for me to remember is that um, in terms of a positive or negative exponent, if it's a big number uh, and you're going to scientific notation, if, if this number, the coefficient, is getting smaller, then this number has to get bigger. The, the exponent has to get bigger. Um, in this case, the coefficient is actually getting larger because you're going from, you know, uh, 12 1 millions to 1.2. In that case, it has to be negative. But, you know, I just think, you know, negative means small, sort of, and so it's a small number. How, whatever helps you remember. But you have to just, just remember that if you have a decimal places um, and you're making the coefficient bigger, you're going to end up with a negative exponent. So let's just do a couple more examples. Okay, so in this case, we have um, three, uh, three million and forty thousand, excuse me, three billion and forty million BTUs. And so again, we just have to move the decimal place over three, six, nine in this case. So it's just going to be 3.04 times 10 to the ninth BTU. Okay, very straightforward. We'll do the last one here. In this case, we have to go from here to 3, 6, 7. Okay, very easy. So it's 4.53 times 10 to the 7th BTU. Okay, so scientific not notation is, is pretty straightforward. Okay, now engineering notation. Um, it's going to have the same format. It's going to be A times 10 to the N. But in this case, the exponent has to be a multiple of 3, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. And then negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, negative 12, and so forth. And so, um, for our purposes, uh, in this class, we're pretty much always, um, you're just going to subtract from the exponent until you reach a multiple of 3. However many numbers you subtract, you add that many decimal places to your coefficient. So in this case, we have 5, we have to subtract 2. Remember, this exponent is going to get smaller. So we go from 5 to 4 to 3. We subtract 2. So if we subtract 2, that means we have to move this decimal over two places. So in engineering notation, it's simply going to be 120 times 10 to the excuse me third watt hours. Now you can see this little notation here. Um, if, I, if you see this, and you'll see this in... in um, in literature, you'll see this in some of my you know, lectures and readings and so forth. Um, this just indicates times 10 to the... Your calculator, your scientific calculator, will also put it in this notation. So this means 120 times 10 to the third. 
In this case, it's watt hours. Now, incidentally, I mean, once you start using these numbers a lot, and you uh, you'll get used to going right from the regular notation to engineering notation. And it's nice with big numbers is that um, the comma tells you it, it separates um, multiples of three. So in this case, we have three zeros here. So it's 120 times 10 to the third watt hour, which is exactly what it is in engineering notation. Okay, so this gets a little more complicated with small numbers. Remember, this um, number is going to get smaller. So we're going to subtract from it. Remember, we'll always subtract from that exponent. In this case, we subtract 1, we get to minus 6, which means we just simply move this decimal place over 1. So it's 12 times 10 to the minus 6 watts. Okay, so you see how the exponent is going to get smaller, the coefficient is going to get bigger. Okay, so that's, in this case, um, this can happen from time to time, you see we're already at a multiple of 3, so this actually is already this is already an engineering notation so we don't have to change anything and again if you look over here it's 3.04 times 10 to the ninth BTU and it, it's pretty easy to pick that up with these commas so we have th 3, 6, 9 and you can kind of treat this first one as a decimal place so 3.04 times 10 to the ninth okay so let's do this last one so here we have 10 to the seventh we need to subtract 1 Okay, so it's going to be, so we subtract 1, which means we move the decimal place over 1, so it's 45.3 times 10 to the 6th BTU. Okay, and again, 45.3 and then 3, 6 times 10 to the 6th BTU. And that's engineering notation. Again, this is review, um, so I'm not going to go over it in any more depth. In this video, I'm going to <clears throat> demonstrate how to convert um, regular numbers or standard notation into metric prefixes. So if you haven't viewed the uh, scientific and engineering notation video, I suggest you do that now. Because um, metric prefixes, you actually build off of engineering notation. So I'm going to insert these um, engineering notation in a second here, and then we'll do the metric prefixes. Okay. <clears throat> So um, here are the numbers, uh, I've converted them into from the standard notation into engineering notation. So you'll notice a multiple of 3, 3, 10 to the 3rd, 10 to the minus 6, 10 to the ninth, and 10 to the 6th. Okay? So with the metric prefix, what you're going to do is you're going to use this chart. And all the metric prefix is, um, you're substituting the power of 10 with a label or prefix. Okay? So in this case, let's just look. This is 10 to the 3rd. Um, so we find 10 to the 3rd right here, which is equivalent to a kilo or lowercase k. It's very important that you put a lowercase k. Um, capitalization is very important for metric prefixes. Okay, we got 10 to the minus 6th. You go to the minus 6th. That's millionth, which is micro, which is mu, just a Greek u, basically. 10 to the 9th. We find 10 to the 9th is billion, which is giga, capital G. 10 to the 6th is mega or capital M, and I'll show you in a minute that uh, there's another notation that we commonly use for that. Okay, so let's convert these. Let me just kind of shove this out of the way. Okay, so the 10 to the 3rd is just equal to kilo, so this is simply 120 kilowatt hours, okay? And that's it. This is a lowercase k, by the way, lowercase. Um, this, remember, is micro. Uh, 10 to the minus 6 is micro. So this is going to be 12 microwatts. It's really that easy. Uh, we'll go to the next one. We have 10 to the ninth, which you remember is giga with a capital G. So that's 3.04 G BTU. Um, you can say giga BTU. Usually you just say G BTU. Um, that's pretty common. Let's slide this out of the way. Um, okay, so now, if you recall, 10 to the 6th is going to be mega, or capital M. So you, I would accept this, MBTU. What's more common is actually, and this is only for, for the um, millionth, or the million, conventionally it is MM. BTU. So I know this seems a little bit odd, this double M. Um, this is just a convention um, that is used all of the time. Um, you will way more often see 
MMBTU than MBTU. So if I say 45.3 MMBTU, that's 45.3 million BTU. And it's just it's just that simple. Um, so this is a review. Um, and so I'm not going to really go into any more detail here. If you need some more help, uh, please ask. But that's it for the metric prefixes.